we're going to connect it directly to this termination box. Inside the termination box, we already connected to the composite fiber optic cable. Hey tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So today, our client wanted four new IP cameras up on that pole, and the IT room is 300 meters away. Now the pathway existed, but there's no power at the pole. So another long distance plus no power classic headache. Now the original thoughts was to run copper the whole way and stretch long range power over ethernet. That can work up to 500 meters with power over ethernet extenders. You need to pull multiple long copper runs and put an extender by each camera. It works, but if you are going to add devices later, you are pulling more lines and it could get messy. So today, I will show you the clean and future-proof way, and we will use only one cable for power and data, not PoE. So we will build it and see it in action together. So instead of power over Ethernet, we ran a single fiber link to the pole. Fiber laughs at long distance, but fiber alone doesn't deliver power. Remember, there's no power available at the pole. So that's why we're using composite fiber optic cable, our favorite move for remote poles. Now this is what a composite fiber optic cable looks like. We have two single mole fiber string for data and two copper conductor for power. Now, one cable carries everything. High-speed video back to the IT room and DC power out to the pole. And our is pre-made, you'll see later, with LC connectors and a direct burial outdoor jacket. So it's perfect for our existing underground pathways. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and we have the whole setup behind us. So let's do it together. We can start from our network video recorder, patch from our NVR to our PoE switch. Now, if your switch has an SFP port, you can plug in your transceiver and fiber directly. But if not, we can place a media converter next to it. It has Ethernet in and SFP out, so you can connect to your fiber optic cable. Since we do have one, so let's plug in the SFP transceiver directly. Now this little transceiver snaps into your switch SFP port to convert electrical interface inside your switch to optical for the fiber. And you can pick the transceiver that match your fiber type in our case, single mode, since we are using a single mode fiber patch cord. We're going to connect it directly to this termination box. Inside the termination box, we already connected to the composite fiber optic cable. Here is the fiber, here's the power conductor, connecting to our DC 48 volt power supply and to air breaker for safety. Now I'm going to turn it on. And let's take a look inside our termination box. We have the fiber here and our power conductor here. And connected directly to our outdoor surge protector. So let's open it up. Now inside we have an air breaker and a surge protector itself. The fiber optic cable come through at the back and connecting to a fiber patch cord. And the power conductor connect through our air breaker to the surge protector. Now if you're in a lightning prone area, make sure you put surge protector on both sides and follow the local grounding code we already grounded. And this is the output port. We have the fiber patch cord and our power conductor directly to our 8 port outdoor rated PoE switch with SFP uplink. Here's why we love it for this job. We have 8 as 8 PoE port here and 4 SFP uplink port. And the enclosure is made for weather, UV, rain, dust. It's purpose built for poles and parking lots. So now I'm going to slot in our SFP transceiver 
and connect to our fiber patch cord. And we're getting the data from our fiber and we have the power conductor here land on the DC input of this switch. So now we have both data and power and from here we just have to simply plug in our Ethernet cable we're using power over Ethernet, so we're sending both power and data to our cameras. We have three cameras on the pole, so I'm going to plug in three Ethernet cable. Now we can see they're all receiving both power and data. And next, we'll check out our video on the monitor here. So here we are, it's live, it's clean, and it's future ready. So long range power over Ethernet can reach, but it's depth extenders and looks messy if you add devices later. Now we're using composite fiber optic cable to keep the whole setup clean and scalable. You've got blazing and stable bandwidth on the fiber and a dedicated copper pair to push DC power. And if you want to add wireless bridge, SS point, or another camera later, you've already got the switch and the bandwidth at the pole. And now let's talk about power budget, because this is where composite cable shines, but also where you need a plan. Now you're sending DC hundreds of meters, and voltage drop is real. You can start with two numbers, the power your outdoor PoE switch needs to run itself, plus the total power over Ethernet it will provide to all the cameras. And then you add all those together, and that's what you need to deliver at the pole. And over long distances, the wire's resistance eats voltage. And the more current you push, the longer the run, the bigger the drop. So you combat that by choosing thicker copper, raising the source voltage within the device's input or both. Now, our composite fiber optic cable has different wire gauge. You can choose thicker wire, lower gauge for long runs, but you still need to choose wisely at the power supply. Or you can send AC to the pole, and AC doesn't suffer the same voltage drop headache over distance. But keep in mind, because AC introduced permitting and safety requirements. In some countries or regions, you need a licensed electrician just to work with it. So if you are not licensed, you should stay with low voltage DC. So could we have done long range PoE with extenders? Sure, but we'll be stacking devices, running multiple cables, and boxing ourselves in for expansion. The composite fiber optic cable gave us fiber reliability for video and delivered DC without installing new AC service. So that's our solution, solved with a single composite fiber optic cable, power and data together, one trench, and room to grow. Now thank you very much for joining us. If you want to accept part that we use, you can check the description and please feel free to drop your questions below. We'll read them all and I'll see you in our next video.